Rear Window, directed by Alfred Hitchcock, based on a short story written by Cornell Woolridge. It's a thriller with an extremely simple premise. Um, Jeff, played by James Stewart, is uh, this adventurous photojournalist who normally travel, travels all around the world in search of the next big thing for him to photograph. But the moment we meet him um, is a departure from that. He has a broken leg, and for the past few weeks he's been confined to his apartment in New York, um, left to ponder his future, um, whether or not to give in to his lady friend Lisa, played by Grace Kelly, who wants to wants him to marry her and finally settle down. And in order to take his mind off his internal thoughts about that, he begins spending his days and evenings at the window, um, overlooking a backyard in between the apartment buildings. Through it, he can see not just the courtyard, but also through the other windows into the apartments of his neighbors. One evening, after such a spying session, he becomes convinced that one of his neighbors has actually murdered his wife. He tries to convince Lisa, he tries to convince his detective friend, but to no avail. Um, and with time, he gets increasingly convinced that he's right, and, so, and also increasingly impatient about not being able to prove this or do anything with the information because he has this broken leg. All the while we as the audience basically see what he sees. We get no additional information and so we have to also figure out on our own if this is going on for real or is this just boredom mixed with crazy imagination. Now, for as simple a concept as that is, the execution of it is the true marvel of Rear Window. I'll start with the production design. The set built for this film was, I think, the biggest one at the time ever built and it, it is just incredible. Uh, if you didn't know it's uh, on the studio lot, it really could pass for a real New York neighborhood. The way the buildings look, the fact that the key apartments are entirely functional and fully furnished, the lighting, the little details in, in, in those apartments, it, it's just pure cinematic magic for me. Um, apparently in order to build this set on the studio soundstage, the crew had to tear down the ground floor um, and what is the ground floor in the film was actually in the basement. That's how large it had to be. It's also interesting because it only has, uh, exclusively has um, diegetic sound. So all of the sounds that we hear, including the music, are also present in the film. The characters can also can also see and hear those things. And I think the way especially the score is um, inserted into the film is kind of ingenious. However, having this setup, um, this impressive set, is one thing, but using it properly is another. And in this regard, Hitchcock shows his true mastery, I think. Um, it must have been an incredibly difficult, and at the same time, I think really exciting as this filmmaking exercise, to consistently shoot the film exclusively from the perspective of Jeff, which by extension means exclusively from his apartment and his windows. You have to realize how limiting that is in terms of camera angles, blocking, perspective, just overall what you can show on screen and how to do it. And yet somehow it works perfectly. The story is easy to follow. We always know what's going on. It never feels like the audience is disadvantaged because of the limits of camera work. And finally, having all of this technical setup in place now, it also would be nice if the story itself was engaging and interesting. And again, success because it is. It's a very competent mystery film that really keeps the audience guessing, while also never really feeling like it's artificially manufacturing drama. Everything that happens feels organic and natural. And also, the central mystery is a wonderful catalyst for the evolution of the central relationship between Jeff and Lisa, which is, after all, the emotional core of the film. Plus, on top of that, we have all the additional neighbors that, in one way or another, subtly add to this main love story. So I was really impressed by Rear Window. I think it's a great film with a story that perfectly weaves mystery and romance and is executed in a way that simply elevates the script and makes it a filmmaking achievement.